Yo, what up guys? It's Maverick, ya yeah, boy, I'm back. A lot of things have happened in my life. Oh, a hummingbird. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. I've been gone for about five months now. I had a pretty amazing time though. I was with my brother, my sister, and my dad, and we were visiting the five largest national parks in all of Utah, Northern Arizona, which the national parks are the Grand Canyon, Bryce, Arches, Capitol Reef, which sadly, I got a crazy, crazy big sinus infection. <laughs> so I was passed out on drugs the entire time of the car ride there. But I also got to see, what was the last one? Zion, which was by far my favorite, especially when we got to uh, take a little hike. I think it was nine miles through the Narrows, which is a river that just runs through this canyon and you just have to basically walk through water. I came out, my toes looked like raisins. But then after that, we got to also visit a few state parks like Monument Valley, which was probably one of my favorite, and the Valley of Fire, which I got a pretty cool photo of the Range Rover that we were driving. Now that summer's over and I'm no longer hiking across the US, I can start to update my fall wardrobe. And after these five months of traveling, I got everything in. So this is my, uh, fall wardrobe update, which actually, this all is secondhand. It, my retail value, it's over $10,000, but I refuse to pay retail. The very first piece that I'm about to show you is a piece that I got from an outlet store, which is actually fall winter olive green shirt from Saint Laurent. It's just their mini logo tee, and actually I got it way below retail. Ah! <laughs> the retail price of it is I think $450. And I got this for below $150. So the next piece that I found is another t-shirt and I found it at a thrift store in my local community, actually called the community, with my aunt Frida, who is down from Indiana, who used to be an ex-prison guard. So she's kind of a badass. But um, she just picked this out as we were walking down the aisle and it is a vintage The Black Crows t-shirt. It's got a naked dead dude in the center with an orange. It's got these beautiful demon and skeleton print all over the front and back. And on the back it says, High as the Moon Tour in this beautiful burnt orange with some pot leaves all over it. It seems to be an original, even though it's printed on the Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, but it looks like it's from their early 2000s tour, which they do go for a good amount online so i'm super happy about because once i'm done wearing this i will be putting it up on my grail if anybody wants to check it out <laughs> so the next piece that i found which is i think piece number three is also from the saint laurent outlet and it is this beautiful black long sleeve button down t-shirt with this insane lit and unlit matchsticks which to be honest i didn't know what the print was or like the print until i noticed that it was matchsticks and then it became absolutely one of my favorites it is insanely discounted. This was originally about like $900 and I got this way below that at like 15% of the original cost. It is a beautiful, I think it's not silk, but it's a very soft material and it's just front and back. It fits very tightly. It's a 3815 and it's actually from Eddie Salmon's last collection at Saint Laurent 2016 piece. Super excited for it. I don't know if I want to sell it because it fits beautifully. So the next piece that I have is onto pants, which both of the pants that I have are both from women's collections. So they're a bit different compared to what I would normally wear, but I absolutely love them. They're both, they're both size eight, which is a 30 to 32 in men's, but an eight in women's. But they're, these are vintage Prada, can't find the year, but they're vintage Prada pants. And this one actually is basically like a 1970s basement couch that you would see on uh, that 70s show. It's got these beautiful Mary gold color with this tan, almost cream circles and then half black circles all over it. They fit beautifully. Their inseam is about 25 inches. So luckily since I have shorter legs, they fit it just on top of my ankle, so I don't even need to get them tailored. Sadly, they do not have belt loops, 
which one time I was wearing them to a club called Roxy's and a bouncer basically wanted to kick me out because my pants didn't have belt loops. So that classifies them in his opinion as sweatpants. That could, <laughs> <laughs> sir. So the second pair must have been from the same person because I got both of these pairs from a consignment store here in my town. They're both size eight, which means they're a size 30 to 32 in women's. But these are blue and white triangle graphic dress pants. And they're just insane. They kind of fade from a white triangle into this dark blue upside down triangle. They're just an insane pattern. They say in little, little spots everywhere, they say Prada. They're originally, I think, $1,200 and I got them for less than 100. So this was an absolute steal. I'm obsessed with them. Uh, they also are a very, very short well no they're not very short but they're like a uh they sit right above my ankle i think it's a 25 inch inseam just like the second pair so thank you to whoever uh gave away these at a consignment store i'm in love with them and i'm glad i didn't have to pay two thousand dollars for both of them so the next piece that i have is a rain jacket that i found when i was visiting new york city when i applied for fit the fashion institute of technology which i ended up not going to after I visited with the photography advisor for another reason that I can explain on another day. But when I was there, there was a Sandro sample sale going on. So I actually got this insanely amazing kind of metallic royal navy blue in black. They called it a BMX raincoat. So it's got these insane hidden pockets everywhere with these porcelain zippers and they just, they're hidden zippers absolutely everywhere. It has a bunch of Velcro detailing, uh, detachable little um, front cap, so then that you can keep your head nice and dry of the rain. It's got these metal cinches everywhere on the top and bottom has its own little tight girdle to keep air from out from underneath your belly. And um, it's just an insanely, insanely beautiful piece that'll keep me nice and dry for when it starts to rain. So the next piece that I found is actually one that I picked up from eBay. It is the very classic Saint Laurent Teddy jacket in black wool and white leather. And it is just beautifully crafted. It's very thin compared to my other Saint Laurent jacket, which I'm about to show you. But uh, it has these gorgeous white leather patches, really nice hardware, inside pockets, there's not really not much I can say about it. This one is actually from, what year is it from? 2016, so this was actually Eddie Salma's last year of being at the house of Saint Laurent. So I'm actually very happy about this because Eddie Salma is by far my favorite designer, as you can tell, with every single piece of Saint Laurent that I own, which I know I need to branch out, but I will one day, I promise. So moving on to another piece, which actually is from Saint Laurent, I, again, I know, is the Jetam black and orange, no, black and yellow uh, corduroy teddy bomber. And it's got this much thicker quilted inside. It's a much heavier jacket for when it's really cold out. And it's a beautiful varsity bomber, which I need a lint roller because no matter how hard I try, it does not get all of the lint off, which is something I'm really, really annoyed with but it's crazy thick and beautiful and sadly this is 2017 so it's a little bit newer but i just knew i wanted it the second i saw it was black and yellow because black is one of my favorite colors and yellow is something that i've been really into this year so super excited about that and last for the coats before i move on to shoes which i have two pairs of shoes but this is by far my favorite piece i've ever owned over anything I've showed you so far. It is this beautiful 2015 or 16 J.W. Anderson D-grade coat in the colorway of steel. It's the P coat. And um, it just degrades from this beautiful dark black through charcoal, through steel, into this light gray, into a cream, which I absolutely love. It is insane quality. The pockets come uh, unusable. You can undo them and use the pockets, but I just don't want to kill the lines of it. This one still has the tag and everything. It's a size 48, which is a medium, more towards large, it's the largest size of the medium, but it is just one of the most insane, most, in, most insane coats I've ever had in my life. I'm super, super, 
super excited for it for New York when I go back when I go back to New York <laughs> so the last thing I have for you guys is two pairs of boots which the first pair are these beautiful black YSL Wyatt harness boots I think they're at a 45 centimeter so they're a little bit taller than normal and they're in the suede material which means I should be taking way more care of them than I actually am but I have been wearing these non-stop for the past couple months to the point where these were dead stock when I bought them and they are pretty worn in already if I were you and I was buying a pair of Saint Laurent boots because they're so expensive I would take them to your tailor put some pads on the bottom of them the pad down the bottom of them put some pads on the bottom of them and make sure to keep them nice and beautiful get a suede brush and everything but they're by far my favorite they have a clasp that allows you to open them up with a little side zipper there is patent leather on the inside to keep them nice and sturdy and they surprisingly don't get sweaty in the slightest but they are a beautiful boot for every almost every outfit any outfit that you're trying to go for that SLP vibe, you're trying to go for biker, you're trying to go for kind of upper scale classy. For me, I'd rather wear these than dress shoes. A more casual version of the SLP boot, which is these Chelsea boots, which I think they're at a, they're at a 35 centimeter heel, which means they're a little bit shorter. They don't have the harness and they have a stretch instead of the zipper, which makes them a little bit more casual. They're not brown, they're not green, they're something called a haunted green. Not hunter, but haunted, which is this beautiful color that works really well with any browns, any greens, kind of surprisingly tans, but anything that just doesn't, black doesn't go with, these surprisingly go with. Um, and I'm just super, super excited about them. They're also in suede, and yeah, uh, the bottoms are still pretty, still pretty fresh. I got these at a crazy discount on Grail, same as the last one, but these I got for a thousand dollars off of the retail price. I got them for basically dirt cheap, but I'm in love with them. Thank you for watching. Uh, these are the few pieces that I picked up for my new fall winter wardrobe. If you would like to pick up any of my older pieces, I will have them up on my Grail, which is at Maverick Ocean. Also, my Instagram is Maverick Ocean. If you want to check that out, that has my fashion photography, my normal photography, modeling photography. It has just a bunch of different stuff. Really exciting. That's where that's my other passion photography. But um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be making way more fashion videos now that I'm back into the average swing of things. You know, everything's calmed down in my life, and I have a minute to breathe and work on things that are important to me. But thank you for watching. My name is Maverick once again. I appreciate all the nice things that people have been saying in uh, the comments and messaging me on Instagram. And I can't wait to make another video. Peace.